What is up guys, it's Tom from Tech Time here and I'm back with another video. Today I'm giving you my camera review on the Galaxy Note 8. This is, in my opinion, the best camera phone out right now. It's overall the best. It may be not the best in every single thing, it may be not the best in manual controls, it might not be the best in um, you know color reproduction or uh, HDR, but overall, Every field that scores very high, and when you put them all together, I feel like it's the best camera phone out. I've played with all the phones out so far, except for the iPhone 10. I played with it in store. I still feel like this is this is just the one to beat. It really is. Um, there's a lot of great cameras out there. Don't get me wrong. You know, a lot of cameras on these phones are really really nice, and it's they're all fairly fairly close. They really. Are. I think this one just has. A little bit of an edge to push it over the edge with features and stuff and, and, and that's where we're at so let's start off with this camera app the app is nice um, I think they could have implemented the app a little bit better with the 18 by 9 aspect ratio that it uses now um, but let's get into the app a little bit so the top left corner you get your settings everything's in there you can change your you know your picture size um, it gives you different aspect ratios. If you see right here, 18.5 by nine, that will give you full screen when you're shooting a picture, but you're gonna drop you down to 7.9 megapixels. You don't wanna deal with that. So you just keep this in, in you know, you're not getting the full frame of the uh, screen when you're taking a picture, but you're getting more megapixels. Same thing with when you're shooting video, you get a little bit better than full HD, which isn't bad. So that you can shoot video if you want. Um, but realistically, when you upload it to, you know, say YouTube or wherever, most of the time it's going to be implemented in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio anyways. So I would just keep it to where it is regular. Now you got full HD, full HD, 60 frames per second, quad HD, and ultra HD, which is 4K at 30 frames per second. Then you have 720 at 240 frames per second for slow motion. Um, you got tracking autofocus where you can track the subject. You have timers, HDR. Uh, the front camera is an 8 megapixel camera. It's a solid front camera. It's not the best, but it's solid. It does what you need it to do. And then you have different shooting methods where you can you know, tap the screen, show the palm, tap the heart rate sensor, stuff like that. HDR for the front. Motion photos, we can turn that on if you want. It records a short video clip of what happens when each picture is taken, similar to live photos on the iPhones, iOS. Video stabilization stabilization on you can turn grid lines on location tags review your pictures automatically i don't do that quick launch by pressing the power key twice i do do that so you can take a you know a quick um picture you hit the power key twice you're right in the camera app it's perfect floating camera button so that gives you a shutter button where you can put it anywhere on the screen you have voice controls volume key f uh, function takes pictures so when i hit the volume down button it takes a picture if i'm in the camera setting which is fine by me so you got that implemented in the thing. You got your flash on the left-hand side too. Auto, regular, on and off. This button right here, the second one up, is full screen mode. So full view is turned on, but you lose megapixels by doing so. So yeah, it looks great, and you might not even think about it, but you're losing megapixels when you do that. You have your camera button on the bottom that flips cameras. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Flip it around. You can also do that by swiping up and down on the camera and that will switch it back and forth now you can implement on the top right you got stickers this is like uh snapchat like filters they're uh they're okay they've implemented a little bit more you can add hats um things like that let's spin the front camera around we'll play around with some stickers if you guys want to see some let's see what we got here so sunglasses put some sunglasses on you whoa Cool, man. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't think it's as good as, as um, <laughs> kids like it, girls like it, maybe some guys like it. I don't think it's as good as um, Snapchat, but it's a cute little idea. And you know what? It's an extra feature that a lot of companies don't have. Let's flip this back over. You got live focus. So this goes into your telephoto lens because this has dual lenses 
and that allows you four feet away to take um, portrait mode shot. You can adjust the blur while you're in it. You can also adjust the blur afterwards for the background. Live focus works really good. It takes some nice pictures. Um, is it implemented maybe the best? No, but it, it works good. With me, I would rather my second lens to be um, a wide angle, but you get what you get, and this has a telephoto. A lot of companies are implementing that. Only LG implements the wide angle for some reason, so you get telephoto. It also gives you 2x optical zoom in and out and it keeps it really clear. It's also, the second lens also has optical image stabilization, so that helps out too for recording video and things like that. You got Bigsby Vision built into your camera app. So this allows you to look at it, and then you can you know, search an image on Google or hit the shopping button. This is gonna give us no products found. That happens quite a bit, so don't, don't rely on that for much. I don't use Big, Bigsby Vision often. See down here on the bottom right hand side, it has AR. This is pretty cool. Walking around Boston, you turn that on and you, you turn it near something and it shows up anything right there and it shows the Yelp stuff. The uh, reviews, how far away it is, the stars, and a little picture of whatever they have on Yelp. That is pretty cool when you're walking down a street, busy street, that thing works out pretty cool. I like it. It's another you know, kind of quirky feature, but I think that one actually implemented pretty well. Um, you have all your shooting modes. If you swipe to the right, you have auto, pro mode. Pro mode is going to give you your white balance, your autofocus, you know, your uh, filters, your ISO, and your shutter speed. Oh, just flipped the camera by accident. Um, you also have, switch it back, you got auto. You also got panorama, slow motion, hyperlapse, food, virtual shot, which virtual shot allows you to take a picture, a couple pictures all the way around it, and then it gives you a 360 degree view of it. Sports, it's for quick moving things. Rare cam selfie is one I downloaded, and that is when you turn the camera around, it locks on our face. When it locks on our face, it stops the time. I believe it's three, two, one, it takes a selfie. So you can take selfies with a rear camera without seeing what's going on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then there's more you can download in the um, Samsung things. Really not too many. So you can just keep with what you got there. Swipe to the left, you got all your filters. So you can add a filter. And that's it, really, for the camera app. It's nothing crazy. Oh, and you also have your shutter button over here that allows you to zoom in 10 times digital zoom. Obviously. Sorry, my girl was just calling there. And then let's see how this thing focuses. This has one of the quickest focus cameras I've ever seen. It really does, it just, it, it just focuses super quick. Literally instantly it focuses. That is one of the key features on this phone is it focuses so quick, in my opinion. It's one of the fastest autofocuses on the market right now for a smartphone. So that's it for the app, guys. I'm gonna take you into a few photos, a few videos right now that I've taken with the camera, and we'll get into that right now. What's up guys? This is uh, me filming from my third floor um, window. Uh, I'm going to be including this into my tutorial from now on, my camera reviews. Um, we're going to go over and be able to see you know, the same setting every time, short little clip. Uh, I'm going to go over the, the 2x optical zoom from the telephoto lens, going to do that now. You see that? That's nice and clear. Still picks up the motion. This is regular 1080p right here, full 1080p. Zoom out of that. And now we'll do digital zoom 10x. That's two and a half. Almost four. 
That's full 10, which is a little grainy, but you can read everything that's going on perfectly. You can read all the numbers that are on the dentist's office and everything else. Let's zoom out. And that's it. It's a not too nice of a day. No real sun, just really cloudy. This is a picture using the Snapchat like filter. You know, it comes out nice. The filters aren't my favorite. This right here is portrait mode. See the vibrant colors Samsung cameras take. It's really nice. This is a close-up photo of a spider. Good quality. It's another portrait mode right here. And you can see the background's nice. It's just a beautiful looking picture. Right here is a black and gray of a tree. It just looks nice. Quality is great. Here's a close-up shot of a leaf. And the bokeh effect works out great. Here's another close-up of the uh, praying mantis. And it blurs out the background perfectly. That's not no telephoto or anything. Vibrant, vibrant colors on these flowers. It's the uh, portrait mode of a donkey. It's got a little bit of a blur issue. It uh, you know got most of the top, not the bottom. It's just a nice picture. Look at the dynamic range. Everything in the background you can see so nicely. It's just some vibrant colors of a stupid uh, van that I've seen that supposedly sells weed lollipops. So here's inside the Wang Theater in Boston. Here's the regular um, lens. Here's the telephoto lens. The 2X optical zoom. And the quality is great. And this is dark in here. This is while we're driving. I picked up a, a Lamborghini. But you can see no blur. The shutter super fast. It's a portrait mode of a shoe. We, it was just at the mall. But look how nice that is. Just a vibrant out day, uh, outdoor picture. The grass is green. Dynamic range is great. This is a low light shot of food. Another low light shot of food. So dark in this restaurant. Carmelina's on um, Hanover Street in Boston. Here's with the flash. Nice colors. The background looks good. This is another dark, dark picture. Mike's Pastries. The neon sign. You can see there's no lens flare. Here's a selfie. If you guys are into selfie cameras, the camera's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It definitely works. It's another selfie. Dim lit at a wedding that we're at. So the quality's good. This is a picture of a fire pit. And look at the flames. You know, it's just perfect. Portrait mode right here with my daughter. Comes out really good. I'm more of a wide angle person, but this works. Here's a far away photo of a coyote. Dynamic range is great in this. This is fully zoomed in. Now look at the quality of that fully zoomed in. That's pretty good. At only 12 megapixels. Here's a pitch black flash shot. And you can tell that the flash works pretty well. Some more vibrant colors of some flowers. Another photo coming up. Vibrant colors. And Samsung does such a great job of, you know, really oversaturating the colors. I like it personally. They're ready. You don't even need to edit them. And it just looks good. <laughs> Here's a picture of some breakfast. You know, just good quality. Auto mode. Everything was auto mode in this um, camera review. Outdoor picture of a snake. You just look at the quality of the backgrounds of these, these pictures, and it's just really good. Super bright right here. The sun almost pointed directly at it. Look at the, the color of the sky. It's just beautiful. It's got a picture of my girlfriend's dog, um, dad's dog. No portrait mode, but it still blurred the background out. There's another picture. Sun coming in, but you can see, you know, the background's a little bit blurred out. Here's a portrait mode of something I've seen inside the store. It's going to be another portrait mode right here of the, another old truck. They just, they come out really good. For first generation, it works well. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunset. Dynamic range is great. Colors look awesome. Here's a selfie mode. This is a selective focus, so it's kind of blurred. This is their version of the front portrait mode. Here's another camera in the mirror. <laughs> with the reflection, you know, it looks good. They, they, the phone takes great pictures. It really does. There's a photo of the Patriots game zoomed in. 10 Tumnex digital zoom. 
portrait mode of a Bud Light can when I was at the Patriots game a couple weeks ago. Came out really good. Another portrait mode shot, another beer can, came out good. Just look at it, you know, consistently the colors are super vibrant. They just, it, auto mode, you could snap point, quick, takes the pictures quick, no lag, and it, it just takes nice pictures. This is my favorite all-around camera on any phone right there, right now. The only other phone that I really think competes, because it had a great front camera also, was the HTC U11. This is outside at Atlantic City. Dark, gloomy day. Another like uh, rear selfie through the mirror. And you're just going to get consistently good pictures. This is at the Patriots game looking at the Jumbotron. You're going to get great pictures with this camera. You really are. Osaka Sushi and Steakhouse. This is another dark, dark picture where you get the neon lights and the quality's great. This is zoomed in, the 2X uh, optical zoom. And you're not losing any quality. That lens is also optical, uh, has optical image stabilization. This is downstairs in a dark, dark bar. And it, little, it blows out some of the highlights in the back. Another, um, this is a beautiful sunrise. Just look at the dynamic range. You know, in some of these pictures, this is another dark, dark picture. I just tried to, you know, throw a variety of pictures out there. Some unbelievable cannolis from Mike Pastry. Um, some dark pictures coming up right here of the wedding. Dimly lit, weird colors. Um, Samsung does great in, you know, processing the pictures. The portrait mode works really good for the first generation. The optical uh, zoom is great. Digital zoom works really well, in my opinion. Here's a dark, faraway picture when I went to see two cellos. Look at the quality. It's really good with the weird lights. It's hard to get. Now, you're going to have a um, video coming up. That, the other one was uh, zoomed in. This one's not. And look at this video. This is tough to get good video with all the strobe lights flashing, the laser lights and all that. And this isn't, you know, that close. And when I zoom in and out, that's using the 2X optical zoom and call photo lens, which it might have not actually even been using that because sometimes in the dark it doesn't use the um, telephoto lens. It's a nice picture. See the sun rays? It catches everything. This is just auto mode. It has a slew of manual features too you can use. But overall, in my opinion, this is the best camera out. Not everything does it, you know, surpass other cameras, but overall, I think it's the best. The only one, like I said, was the HTC 11, had a great front camera, and now possibly the Google Pixel 2. I haven't been able to test that out completely. Hey guys, that's the end of the camera review. I just wanted to go over and, you know, show, show a different variety of pictures that I've taken, all in auto mode. I, I'm not a photographer by any means, but, you know, I, I like to think that I can take a decent picture. Um, and you, you have so many features with Samsung cameras and now with the, the Note 8 you get the, the dual lenses and for a first generation um, dual lens setup that they have the portrait mode in my opinion works really well sorry there's a huge glare from the sun coming in um, the only downfall on this camera I personally think is the front camera setup you know 8 megapixel it's got a you know decent size aperture but it's just, you know, maybe not the best. It lightens up some skin tones. It, you know, maybe gives a little bit more of a, like a flawless brushed look. But overall, it, it it works for a front camera. I'm not a huge front camera guy, but it works. You know what? And, in, and with the tool, the dual rear cameras, I just don't think there's a better setup. I really don't. Um, you know, it'd be nice if they had a wide angle instead of the, the telephoto lens. But they don't. LG has that. But even with the LG cameras, they're great. You know, taking a picture, there's a little bit of lag sometimes in the LG camera apps, and then actually taking the picture, it does. You don't get that quick, quick, you know, shutter speed and and the software and the camera app. So something just lags a tiny bit behind Samsung when you're taking pictures with the Samsung. It's quick. You take it and you have that picture right there. So you're not going to have any, you know, blur from people moving too fast because this thing captures so quick. And that's what I like about it. Just want to give you guys a quick review on it. Um, and that's it. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know in the comment section what you guys think has the best camera phone right now. I think it's the Galaxy Note 8 overall. I'm not saying it takes the best stills. I'm not saying it's this. It's that. Overall, the whole thing, video, low light, I think the Galaxy Note 8 takes the best pictures overall. Let me know in the comment section which phone you guys think. I'll catch you on the next one.